let's go. monument was built 1958 and was actually built with American cement. I don't really know how that relationship turned out or happened, um, but it was actually meant to be built into a airport. So its nickname, um, this is translated to Victory Gate, but its nickname is Vertical Gate since it was supposed to be an airstrip. Um, but yeah, it cost 3,000 kit to get in, which is a little bit under 50 cents. So let's go in, go up the staircase, and we can get a nice view of Vientiane. one in Vientiane, it's the oldest temple, um, because it's the only one that's been able to like stay standing, because when the Siamese came, this has the Siamese style, so they used this as their headquarters when they invaded. respectful. So you have to take off your shoes and then you can't take any pictures inside. But man, inside there are even more Buddhas 
and there were these beautiful drawings on the wall. It was so pretty, so full of color, and then some were painted with gold. It was beautiful. I wish I could have taken pictures to show you. So cool. I think that has to be my favorite so far. So, so awesome. iconic symbols here, especially in Vientiane. Um, I think it's on all their currency as well. So let's go take a peek. So I have the Golden Stupa right behind me. And I think this is one of the more iconic monuments for the city. super close to my hostel so I thought that was it and all the pictures on Google had a picture of this golden stoop so I was like yes perfect love it and it wasn't until the day I was leaving that I realized that the actual one that I wanted to go to was a few miles away and I had no time to actually go so what if I ever talk about what that Luang I mean the big one and this is not the big one so I just needed to clear that up that I made a mistake. Came to the wrong one, intended to go to a different one. So yes, that is what I have to say about what that form and what that lay. Things are so similar and it's super easy to get confused. And back to the rest of the video. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of history behind this. Um, I think it's moved a couple times. I think it was restored and destroyed a couple times, um, but yeah, it's really cool that it's still here, and it's really, really pretty. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but still is really impressive. Alright, so I've made it to the next stop. This is called That Dam, That Dam, either one of those. Um, but it is, it was built, it's a stupa that was built in, I think, the 1600s, in the 16th century, and I can't believe it's still standing the test of time. Um, so this stupa's nickname is the Black Stupa, and this used to be covered all in gold, but when the Siamese invaded, they took the gold with them. Um, I originally, originally wasn't going to stop by, but I still think it's an interesting place just to see, especially how old it is. I've learned that stupas are kind of like graves. Um, they're usually important monks or important people are usually buried inside. And the rumor is the seven-headed snake, um, I don't remember the name, but the seven-headed snake that's important in um, Buddhism and Hinduism is buried inside this stupa. So that that was interesting. So I made it down to the riverfront to watch the sunset, and I'm really happy because it's um, some of the clouds have disappeared, so I'll be able to see the sun, which is really nice. And this it, this river back behind me is actually the Laos and Thailand border. So, just back there, it's Thailand. My first glimpses of Thailand. I'm so excited. So happy. So it definitely is one of my favorite times of the day. So I definitely suggest you know, come, come to the Mekong River at night. Just by looking at the outside, it looks completely huge. So, let's go explore. So, there's nothing I really need to buy, but if I find something 
I like to get up. So two things I'm maybe looking for is a pair of sunglasses because I accidentally threw mine away in Vietnam. And I'm also kind of worried of my clothes. So if I find any good deals, I might pick something up. We'll see. to end it. I hope you had fun with me hanging around Vientiane. Um, this city is actually really cool. I really like it. Um, but with that, I will see you guys later. And if you want to see more of what I get up to, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. if I bought anything, which I definitely did. I found myself a pair of super authentic Ray-Bans. What do you guys think? I got it for, I think it averages out to $1.90 USD. So I'm pretty happy with my purchase. All right, I will see you guys in the next one.